So this past Sunday was Senior Sunday here at Westside, and we were blessed uh, with a sermon from two of our seniors, Madison and Grace, uh, that was truly uh, heartfelt and vulnerable and powerful. Um, and I was sitting there uh, mindful, as I have been the last couple months, of how uh, it just takes a community to raise up healthy, mature, loving, wise uh, young men and women. As a father to a, a senior who's heading out of the nest, uh, it's quite humbling to think, um, you know, that we, we, none of us can do this on our own, that we, we, we need each other. We need a community, and I'm so grateful uh, for the church and for all the people who've been uh, mentors to our daughter, uh, from coaches to teachers to Sunday school small group facilitators to Pastor Penny, uh, and on and on. The list uh, is really um, uh, inspiring. And uh, so I'm thinking about, you know, what does it take to uh, to create the kind of environment where we continue to develop uh, whole human beings who are sent forth into the world uh, to do what God has put upon their heart to do and to do it with uh, faithfulness, with humility, and with courage. So uh, we began a sermon series uh, on the Psalms called Drinking Deeply from the Psalms. And the Psalms are just a beautiful companion to our faith journey. And, and as was mentioned on Sunday, you know, every emotion in the book is found here. Uh, from pure joy, exuberance, to profound despair, depression, uh, suffering. Um, it's all here. And, uh, it's a reminder that God is present in all circumstances, in the heart of the fullness of life, in all its texture and color. So today I want to read uh, Psalm 1 from the Translation put forth by Nan Merrill, a favorite of mine, and I uh, invite you to, to be mindful of uh, the young people in our midst who've been entrusted to us, and, and to consider how you can be part of creating a, a healthy space, a healthy environment, a healthy culture for our young people to, to catch faith and to to be able to tap their roots into something life-giving and nurturing and sustaining. So hear God's word for us today. Blessed are those who walk hand in hand with goodness, who stand beside virtue, who sit in the seat of truth. For their delight is in the spirit of love, and in love's heart they dwell day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water that yield fruit in due season, and their leaves flourish. And in all that they do, they give life. The unloving are not so. They are like dandelions which the wind blows away. Turning from the heart of love, they will know suffering and pain, and they will be isolated from wisdom, for love knows the way of truth, and the way of ignorance will perish. 